turbine itself uh, stands 135 feet tall. The blades are approximately 34 feet long. The uh, the amount of power that this turbine will uh, generate on days like today, especially where it's nice and windy, is about 170,000 kilowatt hours, and that relates to approximately $25,000 a year in annual savings for the McGlynn School. And basically what happens is the uh, blades turn, creates a uh, generation internally to the tubes, down under the ground, power is then put into the school, and uh, there it's utilized. Uh, the nice feature about the turbine is that if the, uh, the school is closed and it doesn't require that 10%, uh, what will happen is that that power will be uh, picked up by National Grid and then uh, put back on the grid uh, to be used by uh, their customers and the city gets reimbursed for that. So it's kind of a win-win situation. The footprint on this as far as uh, carbon emissions, uh, this particular turbine will save approximately 76 tons of green gas emissions into the atmosphere. And that's just this 100 kilowatt turbine. So you can imagine what a wind farm off Nantucket would save in greenhouse emissions. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to the uh, young ladies behind me from the Andrew School and Patty, and they're going to discuss the internal workings of this particular turbine. 